Hello, welcome to the TV1 Training Academy studio. In this short video, we're going to show you how to set up IP streams uh, into your Corio Master. Uh, what I've got here is I have uh, an Epiphan Pearl, which I'm using to provide my stream. Off screen, I've got a, a source coming into it. Um, this is uh, connected on the same network as the Corio Master Micro and also my Choreographer PC. It's really important before we uh, start up and try to try to carry out this operation that we uh, set set our range of IP addresses um, if we're going to use static addresses. Um, to do that, um, obviously on, on the streaming unit, we uh, set up the uh, IP address uh, on it. You can see I've got that set already. Um, if I come into settings on uh, Choreo um, Master or Choreographer rather, um, and uh, look at module configuration, this is where I set the IP address for the uh, media streaming and 4K playback card is set here. So that's on the, the same range. So we're communicating. You also will have noticed, uh, Eagle Eyed amongst you, that we can also uh, do this over DHCP compliant networks as well, which uh, is, is sometimes a, a benefit. So once we're set up, uh, we then go to the uh, wall editor and you'll notice at the moment this uh, source, this is where my stream is going to be appearing. At the moment, the, the top uh, left window is coming from the, the same card that's playing off a USB stick on, on the back of the unit and uh, the, the bottom right hand side, that's a uh, HDMI input from, from this laptop. So uh, to set up a stream, it is dead simple. Uh, just go to your streaming device. Now, the, the, in this case, we're using an Epifan Pearl. If you were to use uh, the forthcoming Magenta Encoder 100, we don't have to do this. It automatically recognizes it's on the same network. In this case, I want to set up a stream, so I can use any of these. I'm going to use an RTSP stream. So all I do is copy uh, that link, go back to Choreographer, uh, double click on the window where I want the stream to appear and there's this new command called manage um, and you'll notice it gives me several choices here it gives me the chance to use uh, USB uh, internal storage which is uh, is a future feature will be coming shortly um, what I want to do is set up an IP stream so to add an IP stream had hit the plus given a name so there's going to be encoder 2 and just copy that link into here and add the IP stream. That's it. Yes, yeah, so I can now start manipulating that. So I can pull that down uh, onto the uh, play queue and push play. And, and that's streaming across through the Epiphan uh, into the uh, media streaming and 4K playback card. Now I can go beyond this uh, as well. Um, I can mix and match media. So on the right hand side here, you'll notice I have um, uh, the ability to edit, so I can do that. You notice it's warning me it's playing, so to do this I need to stop it. It's quite a good uh, little uh, fail-safe mechanism. You don't want to be changing stuff necessarily when you're live on air. So I now go back to edit, you can see I can give it a duration. So this is going to be a five second uh, stream, and then I'm going to mix and match this. So I'm going up to my USB drive, and uh, it'll just, it just reads the material off there and we're going to copy in um, a clip after that so we're going to have a clip and then we're going to go back to uh, the same stream so i'm going to drag that back in so at this time when i push play it will play the stream for five seconds so this is the stream playing from the laptop through the epiphone and it's now clicked to the usb clip now the great thing with these uh, play clues is i can mix stills i can mix streams and I can mix uh, clips as well. So I could have multiple IP streams, so I could have a whole bunch and just cycle through them. Um, we've tried to make this as simple as possible to use. Uh, I hope you agree it is really simple. When we add the Media Encoder 100 from Magenta into the mix, and that's automatically recognized, it'll be a simply go to this window, drag it down, push play, even simpler. I hope this video has been useful. Uh, there's loads more on this uh, YouTube site. Please make sure you have a look at them. Uh, thanks for watching now, bye-bye.